Welcome to the basic flow mapping module. First example will show how to change port type settings. There are two common port type configurations. The first port type is network. The default state for all ports is to receive ingress traffic from switch span or mirror ports or from taps. Network ports only receive traffic and never transmit. The second port type is tool. A port which only sends traffic out is designated as a tool port. And as the name tool port indicates, this is where aggregated, filtered, and or replicated traffic is forwarded out for tools to analyze that traffic. Any traffic received from an external source will be discarded by a tool port. Other possible port type configurations include tool mirror. Send a duplicate copy of all packets forwarded to one tool port to another tool port on the same node. Tool gigastream. All outbound packets are load balanced across the group of two or more tool ports using a hashing algorithm to ensure that packets in the same conversation go to the same tool. Tool gigastream configurations are used to avoid oversubscribing the processing ability of a single tool or to divide volumes of traffic larger than the output capacity of a single port. Stacking. Stack links are used to carry traffic from network ports on one node to tool ports on a destination node. In the GigaView 8 series, these stacking links are used to form cluster configurations, where between two and eight nodes form a single logical entity. Stack links may also be used to forward traffic to a shared GigaSmart before going to a tool port. Tunnel. Tunnel ports support source or destination GigaSmart encapsulation decapsulation operations, or Cisco R-SPAN destination decapsulation. Tunnel ports also support GigaSmart NetFlow generation as the origin of transmitted flow summaries. Port pair, a bidirectional connection in which traffic arriving on one port in the pair is transmitted out the other like a conventional tap. Traffic passing through the logical tap is available as network ingress traffic for mapping operations. As noted, there are two port types which are used most commonly, network ingress and tool egress. A port type parameter must be set prior to using that port in a configuration. For example, if you have a monitoring or security tool attached to a port, the port type parameter for that port must be set to tool before using that port as a traffic egress in a mapping configuration. In this graphic, traffic is received on network port 1 and forwarded out tool port 5. For the examples in this module, ports 1, 1, x1 through 1, 1, x4 will be network ingress ports, and ports 1, 1, x5 to 1, 1, x9 will be tool egress ports. The first configuration example will forward all traffic from network port 1 to tool port 5. Since all ports are network ports by default, then ports 5 through 9 need to be configured as tool egress ports before configuration of traffic forwarding is possible. Be aware that the naming convention for GigaView ports uses different alphabetic letters to designate port speed capability. Across the H series, a common syntax is used to identify which node, slot, and port. Whether clustered or standalone, the syntax is always represented as box ID, followed by slot number, then port. Each port designation is accompanied by the highest link speed which it can support. For example, 1 slash 1 slash x1 indicates box ID, slot 1, 10 gigabit port 1. The letter G designates 1 gigabit ports. The letter X designates 10 gigabit ports. Note that most 10 gigabit SFP Plus ports can also support 1 gigabit SFP modules, but will appear as X ports regardless of inserted module. The letter Q designates 40 gigabit ports, and the letter C designates 100 gigabit ports. Before any GigaSmart operation, log into Fabric Manager and configure which ports on a node serve as network ports and which ones serve as tool ports. Use the Quick Port Editor panel to select the port type. Since all ports are network ingress ports by default, some ports need to be changed to behave as tool egress ports. For instance, change port X6. To change a port's behavior, first select Tool from the Type drop-down menu. To change the port type for multiple ports with a single click, change the port type to Tool on ports X5 through X9 and then click Save at the top right to save this configuration. Click Close to return to the Main Ports panel. After all five ports have been changed from network ingress to tool egress, there will be a row of five green T icons for ports 5 to 9. For a small number of changes, it is convenient to use the Fabric Manager web interface to make changes, 
but when multiple changes are to be made, it is often easier to use the CLI to make changes using port range syntax as previously shown in the CLI configuration example. A best practice is to name the ports according to what is connected. One of the monitoring tools which this module will provide traffic for is a web analyzer. Type in a descriptive name for the tool which will be attached to port 5. Use dash or underscore characters if spacing is required, as blank spaces are not permitted in names. In this example, we are calling the tool CEM Web Tool. If we were going to keep this name, the next step would be to click Save. For this module, the name will not be kept in order that it is easier to match port numbers shown in functional drawings with port numbers in the user interface, so the alias name will be deleted before continuing in the example. Then click Close to complete the port type change.